I'm not even close to to my potential. That was then. We'll meet his arms as we come past uh, Joan of Arc. And this is now. And welcome to the French capital. It's Paris. It's the end of the Tour de France. Israeli cyclist Guy Neve not only made an emotional finish in the heart of Paris, but he also made history as the first Israeli to compete in and to complete the Tour de France. Everyone involved from day one, it belonged to me, but it belonged to, to them at least like it belonged to me, and I'm super proud to, to carry this honor. Pickled rather nicely by De Kernick, quick step. He Niv just about to get off the ramp. Only a few days later, Niv is still processing his emotions of what he's achieved. <laughs> to be honest, the last stage was was hard as well. I, I had the time to enjoy it only only at the last lap. I understood that okay, we are finishing it. I'm I'm here. I looked around. I, I saw the scenery. À ses côtés, c'est le premier coureur israélien à disputer le Tour de France, Guy Niv. Neve admits the three-week journey through France was full of ups and downs, both physically and mentally. It took me half an hour from the gun to make it to the front of the peloton, but in the end I was there. I was able to even follow a few moves. I have some days that your body is just more exhausted and you just need to get through this day. And, and the other days you can race until the finish line and do what you need to do. Neve and his international Israeli startup nation teammates wore their hearts on their sleeves and were overwhelmed with the sea of Israeli flags and people cheering them on along the way. I was quite surprised to see Israeli flags as uh, Israelis are at the moment not allowed to enter uh, France or Europe in general. Uh, maybe it was Israelis that are living here. Or, but yeah, it's always nice to see Israeli flags. A far cry from 13 years ago, when he too was a spectator as a bar mitzvah present from his family. Even though there wasn't much time for socializing with cyclists from other countries, Guy was moved by the warm reception of fellow athletes for Team Israel Startup Nations, first time competing in the Tour de France's 107 year history. In the beginning of the race, uh, some of the really big names in the peloton came to to congratulate me and to say that they know I'm the first Israeli who participates in the tour and they are happy for me, they're happy for Israel, for our team. And Guy plans to do a few more races in Europe before coming back to Israel and ending his racing season. Emily Francis, I-24 News.